Okay. <gasps> oh my god, I watched that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. So today we are going to talk about what I believe to be the best AR sniper rifle combo there is right now in Warzone. So that is, of course, going to be the FFAR and the Tundra. So a lot of people know already about the FAR, but not as many people have uh, woken up yet to the Tundra. So Jay God posted a video about a week ago now uh, showing the stats of the Tundra, and it actually has the fastest bullet velocity in the game for all snipers, faster than the HDR by about 50 meters per second. Uh, the other big thing is when you apply the correct scope, four times scope, it's gonna have no glint and the zoom level is basically the same as what the default tundra scope would be and very similar to what the HDR default scope. Now the, the dual zoom of the HDR would have more, but that's gonna be the one sacrifice you have to do with this gun. And then the FFAR, of course, is the uh, fastest time to kill gun in the game, with the exception of the AS Val. Um, and the mobility on it is just phenomenal. I mean, you can, with the, the right stock, you can just move around incredibly fast. It dominates close to mid range. And I think those two guns paired together uh, is just absolutely phenomenal. So, in the gameplay that we're about to see, uh, it ends up being my PR. It's a 26 kill game. Uh, using the FFAR and the Tundra. Uh, my teammate was just having a bad day. He <laughs> He's a very good player, and he just kept getting the most unlucky situations. Uh, so a lot of it is sort of a 1v2, um, and I think that kind of helped me to get the amount of kills that I did. But it is a incredibly fun game. I will have everything timestamped below. Um, so if you want to just go straight to the loadout, that's completely fine. You can skip ahead and I'll go through the loadout and why I have the attachments that I use on it. So enjoy. Right here. Oh, I got this guy. He's dead. Good shit. Yeah, thank you for the assist. Are you kidding me? Oh, damn. See if you can fall down. Nope. Not letting me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's coming in. He's coming in. He's right, right below us, right below us. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back him, back him. There's only one. That's all I had. As soon as, as soon as I came around the corner, <laughs> I was like not at all ready to take that. Alright, uh, go ahead and buy a stack of- Oh, right here. You take that satchel, I got five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a load out here. Damn, I got sniped. Back left side. We're in the circle. Not alone. I thought he was. I don't, see him. I don't either. Relocating. I was just shooting at something. See if it's him. Okay, he, sure? there's still one on the tower. Yep, tower. We're down on tower. Jeez. Shit. Can't finish. You got sniped at? What? No idea where. Oh my god, my aim. Where's he at? He's dead. Car coming, car coming. Where's he at? Is that you? Yep. <laughs> I just watched that. I just watched that again. Enemy Fuck, uh... Crack that guy. Downed him. Hit another one. He's in behind that shed. Recon. Can't get him. Ooh. Got my finish. Hold on, I gotta watch. Heli. There's people coming. There's people over there. 
One jumped on you. Heli jumped on you. Heli landed by you. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm very far away though. One just bought back. Be advised, UAV is God damn it! I got stuck. Hey, what I do that? Oh, oh my god, there's nothing. Oh, oh, no way. Okay. He's a pop, I think. That's what I'm thinking too. I think there's somebody else here though. Yeah, we got another one. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. All right. Fuck. All right, perfect, 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 perfect. Snipe him. Snipe him. Yes, yes, please. Oh my god. He cracked. He cracked. Oh! Uh, did he lose a heli? Oh, I just got my kill somehow. All right, sweet. Probably. Well, I'm trying, Cody. That'd be nice. What'd you say, Brandon? There's probably a team on the loadout because that's where he went. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna go back towards the loadout. I love this FFAR Tundra combo though, dude. It's so nice. Oh, the guy right in front of me. Two guys in front of me. Two guys in front of me. Oh, damn it. I don't know where I go. The guys on my stuff. I have stuff. I have one down by me. Yeah, just take the time. I fucked up again. Every fucking. Just wipe that team. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> there's another there's another team everywhere we just kill people, by the way. Okay. Take it on. Come right, on. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Oh, Coming no. right at you. Killed that guy earlier this game too. Oh, I saw glue in my fried gauge. You lose your fight is over. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. Oh, yeah, I ran out of ammo there. Good. Jailbreak? Oh my god. Back to back games with jailbreaks. Uh, there it is, there it is. Yeah, I got my stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, I got one landing right by me. Oh, I saw this red access card too. They're back in the car. They're back in the car. Light vehicle here. Shit. Cracked one. He's cracked in the car. Uh, again. Oh, he's one hit, dude. Oh, 
I just down one. I don't know how I live that. He's in the house on blue ping. Do you have anything? Like a gun or anything? Yep. Okay. Oh. He's uh, down in that window. Okay. Someone just, someone just came in there. All right. I have like no ammo. Okay. I need AR. Thank you. I have a plate box and four plates on me if you need plates. There's two in here. I got okay. Oh, I dropped my heartbeat, damn it. Enemy UAV overhead. Down one. Down. One has self res, one has self res. He might have fell off. I'm dead. I'm dead. Is he down there? I suck. No, I don't hear him. Oh no, I, I got kills for bats, never mind, we're good. Dude, just I just sit here for the run. <laughs> Dude, I wanna hit a PR. I'm at, I'm at 18 right now. 24 is my best. Or no. no, I don't. No, That's fine. Okay. I, no, I'll just run ghost. Hey, right here, right here. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Push it up, push up, push up. Right here. Right here. Oh, God damn it. Another team. There's another team. There's another team. Wipe. No, no, that was that was them. That was them. I thought both of them. No, they just split like goofy like that. Forget I went to shoot him with my uh, sniper and I wasn't reloaded. Yeah, I I had to come down a little bit anyway, actually. Oh, I have a red axis card. <laughs> Is it open? No. Just like a specialist in there, huh? If you want, but do it. All right, let's make sure. Hey, nobody... Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Copy that. Oh, I might be able to get a sniper on one of these. Down one. Other oh, up right. Down right. Whoa. Yeah, stopping power, boys. Sorry. Contract time expired. I hit that one down the right. Launch. That's about it. He went whoa, and I killed him. He probably was thinking cheats because I with stopping power the far is ridiculous. Can't go that way. No, you. Oh, I just got a heartbeat down low, below us, below us, close, like thirty meters. What? Seventeen meters. What? Okay, are they cheating? Oh, they're there. They're floating. They're floating. I down one. Hit one. Cracked him. Got him both. Uh, Let's go, dude. I hate you. I hate you. Yeah, I, hate you. <laughs> I got one fucking kill. I'm not gonna tell you that. You got way up here, way up here. Repositioning. Yeah. Down. Thank you. Hit. They weren't on the same team. Okay. Safe zone we gotta go. What the heck just happened there? Um, man, low ground. Let's get up there. Maybe. Come on, man. Yeah, go right, go right. There was people right here, so just the other. Beats clear. Could still be ghosted. Let's head for the safe zone. Nice. We're good on this side. <laughs> Alright, side down from Corey. He'll die. He's gonna die. He's up high. Oh, he's hot. Okay. Yeah, I think. There's two, there's two. Oh, yeah, there is. Holy Don't shit. Worry, I barely peeked. Alright, oh, that's one duo. Point. They're gonna die. They're gonna yeah. die. Yeah, okay. Back down, back down, back down. There's one coming. There's one high. 
Down one. Air shot, air shot. You want low? You want yep, low? Yep, 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 yep. Push up and around left. Don't even peek it. Yeah, I think he has south though. You have to kill for it, didn't you? No, no, not the other side, second one. Yeah, they're dead. I don't know, can you get it? Let's go, PR, dude. 26, hell yeah. Good shit, dude. Let's go. Woo! Hell yeah, dude. Dude, my PR has been like set at 24 for literally so long. I haven't been able to break it. That's a YouTube right there. Hell yeah, it is. My one kill. Well, Marty gave me 11 bits this time instead of the normal 10. Damn. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to talk about the loadout. So for the FFAR, um, we're going to be using the agency suppressor. This is essentially the Cold War version of the monolithic suppressor. So this is going to uh, increase our damage range along with increasing our bullet velocity, which is very important for the Cold War guns as they have pretty poor bullet velocity without the correct attachments. It's also going to keep us off the map with that sound suppression. Uh, next is the barrel. Now the barrel is a little bit up for discussion. Uh, I am using the task force. So now you'll see it says that it gives plus damage. It does not, unfortunately. A lot of the stats here are very incorrect with what they do. Um, however, it does increase your bullet velocity and it uh, increases your range. Now, it does, however, hurt your recoil. Now, it says it hurts your horizontal recoil, but in reality, it actually helps your horizontal recoil, but it does make your vertical recoil worse. So, in my opinion, it's a lot easier to control vertical recoil than it is horizontal. This gun likes to do an S shape. Uh, recoil and so if we smooth that out to just vertical which with these attachments um, it's pretty much going to be relatively vertical it's a lot easier to predict now you could consider doing the ranger barrel as it does have the best bullet velocity out of all these barrels but not that much faster than the task force um, but like i said you will have a little bit more s shape in your recoil but you'll have less vertical so now to the under barrel. This is another one that's a little bit up for debate. The field agent grip is what I've been using because it helps with both vertical and horizontal recoil. Now the bruiser, although it says plus melee quickness, actually helps a lot with vertical recoil and it does help more than the field agent does with a vertical. However, just with the last, with the barrel, I wanna reduce that horizontal recoil as much as possible. So because of that, I'm using the field agent grip to smooth that recoil out and make it strictly vertical and have very little to no horizontal recoil. Now we move on to the ammo and we're gonna be using the 50 round fast mag. Um, as far as I can tell, this does not make any difference in terms of slowing your ADS versus the regular 50 round mag. So this is what I've been going with. It is the largest size. It's one of the biggest downfalls of this gun is it is only 50 round and it does shoot relatively fast. So it's very similar to the Ram. Um, but all the other um, stats of this gun, in my opinion, are worth having that decreased magazine size. And then finally, we're gonna be using the Raider stock. So this is something that's a little bit broken about this gun, as many of the Cold War guns are, is the stats lie here a little bit. So you may have seen many people recommending to use the SAS combat stock. 
because it improves shooting move speed. They both increase aim walking movement speed, which is how fast you walk when you're aiming down sights. Um, the SAS, with what shooting move speed is, is when you're shooting the gun, you will strafe quicker when you start to shoot. So you can strafe incredibly fast while shooting, which helps. Uh, it makes it harder for your enemy to keep an accurate shot on you because you're moving so fast while you're shooting. The Raider helps with sprint to fire time. However, in reality, the Raider should also say plus shooting movement speed like the SAS because essentially the Raider is the SAS plus has a little bit better sprint to fire time. The only downside to the Raider is it does hurt your hip fire accuracy a little bit more compared to the SAS. Now, if you absolutely hate the iron sights and that's fine, I initially I was using the mill stop reflex, but I'm telling you the Raider stock, you can move crazy fast. It just helps so much in those close quarter uh, engagements. I really recommend trying to get used to the Raider stock. So that's my FFAR class. And as we move on to the Tundra, um, so similar here, the wrap suppressor is the monolithic uh, suppressor uh, version for Cold War snipers. It's going to increase that bullet velocity and range. But the combat recon is going to give us our best bullet velocity of all these snipers. And a lot of people are going to say, well, why aren't you using the Tiger team? Well, it doesn't, it might increase your damage, but it doesn't increase it enough to change the amount of shots it is to kill. Um, and I don't really think it does much for fire rate, at least from what I've noticed, but the bullet velocity is a lot faster on the combat recon is that is that is what the most important stat is really for a sniper because that is how much you're leading your shot and how much you have to aim up this is the barrel that's going to give you the fastest bullet velocity in the game which is why this sniper is so dominant uh moving on so the under barrel is interesting so none of these really do anything because we don't need recoil control um the bipod does help a lot with recoil and that was shown in Jgod did a video where he showed how much it did help the recoil, especially with the M82. Now I'm using the infiltrator because it helps a little bit with movement speed, not a whole lot from what I can tell, but it seems noticeable to me. Maybe I'm crazy, but that's why I'm using that because I personally don't care about recoil on a slow shooting, single fire sniper rifle. Moving on to the ammunition. Uh, I'm using the seven round. You could totally use a fast mag here though. Um, it would give you five uh, rounds instead of the seven. Now, seven round speed mag and below, these bottom four will all decrease your ADS time. The top two, the seven round of the fast mag will not decrease your ADS time. Oh, they only have benefits. Um, besides the seven round is a little bit slower to reload, but you get two more bullets. So it's personal preference. I've been using the seven. The fast mag would be totally acceptable as well though. And then we move on to the uh, optic. This is kind of the kicker about this gun is the two times, three times, and four times do not have any glint. And that is huge because when someone sees you just standing there, they think that you're, you know, just out in the open. They're like, oh, look at this bot. I'm going to shoot him easily. They have no idea you're aiming down sight of a sniper. So the crazy thing about the four times, like I mentioned earlier, is this gives the same amount of zoom as the default Tundra scope. And it's very similar to what the, the default uh, HDR zoom level is as well. Um, now, a lot of people do not like the optics. So if we go and look at the reticle, the default reticle is this ugly thing. A lot of people are not a fan of that. So I don't have this unlocked. How the heck am I using that? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So if we go back and if I go to the three times, which a lot of us have a lot of things unlocked for from DMR zone, if you put that reticle that you want and the precision is my personal favorite by a lot, uh, I think this Hunter one is decent as well. So if we put that on the three times, if we go back and then I'm just going to change this with four times and voila, it's there on the four times, even though I don't have it unlocked. So it's a little bit of a workaround. Maybe they'll fix it. Hopefully by then I have enough kills for it. Now I want to touch on the other attachments and why I'm not using them. If you're at this point in the video, you're probably like, this guy is crazy. He's not using a rear grip. What does he know? Okay. Well, Here's the problem. None of these do anything. So J God, once again, thank you, J God, tested all of these and none of them improved your ADS speed. I think, I think some of them slowed it down. So they don't do anything. They're useless essentially. And then as we go on to the stock, um, I believe the same thing. There really wasn't any much of a difference when it came to these. Um, I don't think even the Raider or the SAS did anything. Now, it would be interesting. You could try one of these if they helped with your aim walking speed. 
that might be interesting. You could strafe out and shoot with them, so it's something to consider, but I'm going with that infiltrator grip for a little bit better uh, movement speed. And then laser, all this is going to do is hit fire accuracy, and then reveal distance is kind of useless on a sniper because um, I'm not even sure if this really works in modern warfare like it does in Cold War, but this is a sniper, this is for long range stuff, it's not gonna make a difference. So that is my loadout for the Tundra. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you watch all the way, thank you. If this kind of video helped you, I would greatly appreciate you giving it a like and possibly subscribing for more content like this. Uh, I do stream as well on Twitch over at www.twitch.tv slash tcaptainx, and I'll have that link in the description below. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments or drop it on Twitch and ask me. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Have a great rest of your day.